Hey guys, I'm just going to show you some mini hauls. This is going to be kind of a rambly video because I'm going to talk a little bit about some of them. So, um, let's see, where should I start? I got a couple more China Glaze nail polishes in, what is this? In Secret Periwinkle. I have this on my toes right now and I really, really love this color. It's pretty. And in Chords, which is like a metallic taupe bronze color. This is really, really pretty too. I'm probably going to paint this on my nails next, my fingernails. So I really, really love these two. I'm excited I got them. And I also got this Model Company eyeshadow from Marshalls. And it's in... I'll open this up. It's in Miami. And you guys know how much I love taupe colored shadows, right? If I can pull this out. Ooh, it's difficult. There we go. Alright. And I just I just think the packaging is so cute. Let me show you the packaging first. It's white and pink. I have a little plastic slip. A little tiny applicator and a mirror in it. And it's a really, really pretty color. I don't know. I like it a lot. Can never have enough neutrals and taupey brown shades, right? Okay. And all right. The next few I'm going to talk a little bit more about. This is these are really tiny hauls. So I also went to Rite Aid and I picked up an Equal Tools. Retractable, retractable Kabuki. I used to have an Essence of Beauty one, but it like broke on me, so I don't use it anymore. And it also has a really, really funky smell when you wash it. But I heard good things about this one, so I'm really excited. Could always use a retractable Kabuki so you can toss, in, toss into your purse um, for travel and such. I haven't even opened it yet, but I trust that it's a good brush. Alright, and L'Oreal was also having a buy one get one free. So I thought, okay, I need to get two products from them, and I got, I was, I ran out of, like, liquid liner, sort of. These are the two that I usually use, the Maybelline Ultra Liner, Ultra Liner, Ultra Lina, Ultra Liner, and the Revlon Color Stay Liquid Liner. And this time, I decided to try out the L'Oreal Carbon Black Linear Intense. It has a really long handle up top and it's a felt tip and it's a really long felt tip and I tried it for the first time today I don't know if you can see it and I feel like this is a mix between these two because similar to Revlon it has the felt tip but the felt tip on this one is like flexible as opposed to the color today this one's more stiff and, but the formula is very similar to Maybelline's Ultra Liner in Waterproof. It has a little bit of a glossy finish. I think the Maybelline one might be a little bit glossier. And also I noticed that it has the potential to be a little bit flaky. Because I know that Ultra Liner can be a little bit flaky. Especially if you like rub your eyes and stuff. And I noticed like with the, the little wings here that I did. They kind of flaked a little bit. So that sucks. But overall... I think it's pretty good because it's not, I know it's not going to like smudge and smear on me. So I like the formula of it. And yeah, I really like it so far. Um, if you don't like a glossy finish and if you don't like even the teeniest, tiniest bit of flaking, you might not like this too much. You would probably, you should probably try the Revlon Color Stay. So that's what I have to say about this, my first impression so far. Also, I got the L'Oreal Decrease Eye Base. Many of you have been asking um, what's a cheaper alternative to like Urban Decay Primer Potion and Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And for so long, you know, people are saying it's the L'Oreal Decrease. And I haven't tried it until now. And so far, I have to say that I'm really, really impressed. First impressions. Things may change later. I don't know yet. But just my first impression so far is I'm pretty impressed with this. So you might want to give this a try. Um, yeah, if, you know, if it seems to just hold up really well, I might do a more in-depth review later. But so far, I'm really impressed. Because I notice, I've had it on for like a few hours, 
And I noticed that my eyeliner hasn't really smeared as much on the bottom or to, you know, the outer edge here as it normally would. So that's why I'm, I'm kind of shocked. I think this is what's holding it up. And that's my little mini hauls for you guys. Um, one quick thing. I know a lot of you guys are going back to school soon, and I'm probably going to do a WXW with, like, back-to-school outfits or school outfits. And I want to know, um, how strict is everyone's dress codes? I know it varies, you know, with different states and stuff. So just let me know, you know, what you're allowed to wear. My little sister is actually just about to go to high school. I'm really excited for her, and I know, you know, the dress code here is pretty strict. Like, you can't wear flip-flops. Um, I don't think you can wear, like, spaghetti straps. I don't know how much of the shoulder you can bear. But you guys let me know, so I'll see what kind of outfits I can put together for you guys. And that's all. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you all later. Bye.